have you ever lost sight of your beloved pet dog? Let us know in the comments what you did to find them and where they went. Because just like that, this story is about a dog who vanishes every day, and what they found out was really shocking. Hi there, welcome to our channel, and today we'll tell you a story about a dog from Japan who amazed everyone. Before we begin, we publish similar videos on a regular basis and we invite you to subscribe and to click on the bell icon to receive alerts on our new videos. Don't forget to like our video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends! Now let's begin! It's 1986 in Kurama Islands, about 17 miles away from Okinawa Island. There lived families of fishermen in a small fishing village. Nakamura, one of the fishermen, and his family were new to the island. They moved from Zamami Island to Aka Island, where they are now. The two islands are only two and a half miles apart. Nakamura had a dog named Shiro, and Shiro was one exceptional dog. He was strong, smart, and his human loved him with all his heart. His story was absolutely captivating, now let's find out why. Shiro enjoyed the sights and scents of his new island. However, he would spend hours upon hours sitting by the pier, staring at the overlooking Zamami Island across the shallow sea. Nakamura would look for Shiro because he'd usually stick with him while he was working. Instead, he found him lying in the pier, looking as the rays of the sun colored the neighboring island, the sea, and his sad, sad eyes. Nakamura would sit beside him and tell him it's okay to be homesick at first, but Akko will start to feel like home in no time. He felt sorry for the dog who's most likely missing their old island. One day, Shiro went missing. Nakamura got worried at first, but he remembered how Shiro was homesick and that he probably got into one of the boats that go to Zamami every morning. He'll wait for him in the evening as the dog would always be at home after sundown. And naughty little Shiro was indeed home by sundown, only soaking wet this time. Nakamura knew that Shiro had been in the sea and was revisiting Zamami, but he doesn't know what he's up to there. So early one morning when he was free, Nakamura followed the dog. Much to his surprise, the dog jumped into the water and swam towards Zamami's direction. Worried, Nakamura immediately got on a boat and followed suit. Shiro, you crazy, crazy dog, what are you doing? He said. But nothing seemed to stop the dog but his tiredness. He would stop by one of the islets to take a few minutes of rest and continue swimming to the shores of Zamami again. When they got to the island, Nakamura was expecting to see Shiro rushing to their old house as the dog loved lying down on the doorstep of their old house. But what Shiro was actually up to really shocked him. The neighbors complimented Nakamura of his dog because the dog had been swimming to the shores to meet with his friend Marilyn, one of their neighbor's dogs. There, they would be together and play all day. Nakamura forgot that Shiro had a dog friend back in Zamami and that they'd been hanging out for three years. That was the very reason Shiro wanted to come back to Zamami. Nakamura just let his dog come to Zamami every day and he never worried because Shiro would always come back home at night. Nakamura told this amazing discovery to his friends at work and they loved Shiro for his show True Love. Shiro and Marilyn soon became stars of both islands and it didn't take long until their story hit the news. Their cute love story was soon loved by the country and visitors flocked to the islands to see the now famous dogs. Shiro remained loyal to seafaring routine with Marilyn for a year after tourists started coming to the islands. Unfortunately, the day came when Marilyn passed away, which brought to an end to Shiro's adventures. Shiro lived to be 17 years old when he died in 2000. He lived a happy life and he fulfilled everything that he wanted to do while he could. Shiro and Marilyn's dog love story has captivated Japan since 1988 and a movie was even made about them. It was called Wanting to See Marilyn. Later on, two monuments were erected along the shores of the two islands, the Shiro Monument in Aka and the Marilyn Monument in Zamami. Both were facing each other across the sea. Tourists continued to flock to these monuments long after the dogs were gone, and they became symbols of unwavering devotion, two friends not wanting to be apart. Many people across the globe found this dog story cute and everyone's fascinated by how that forgettable feeling of love is also a phenomenon among non-humans. This story also teaches us that Shiro did what he could to get what he wanted. No sea is big enough for Shiro's undying love for Marilyn, and when it was all over, Shiro had no regrets as he was able to spend enough time with Marilyn and made her happy every day. In return, he had every human's love from every direction. Do you show the same level of devotion to your loved ones? Let us know in the comments how you felt about Shiro and Marilyn and if you've seen the film based on their story. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our future videos. See you in the next one!